everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Yesterday I mentioned about my broody hen. Well, Silver is no longer broody, but Brownie was. And I thought Brownie was over it when she was out and about. Oh, excuse me, the already. See, I started right away. I was burped just before we turned on the camera, but I didn't wait. <sighs> Anyways, Brownie was, was broody. And I thought she had gotten out of it when she got out of the nest because then she was out and about for a while. Well, she's been in it two days now. I've, I've caught her in it and I've shoot her out and she gets out and then I come back and I look again and there she is again. So today I had to put her in the timeout cage. So that's where she is today. She, she went there probably around 1 o'clock this afternoon. I put her in there, and boy, was she a toughie. I put on Jim's gloves, and I carried her out, and she's really squawking up a storm and getting everybody else all riled up because she's squawking. And I put her in the cage, and I gave her some food, and she has her water there. And I will leave her there through the night, and then I think I'm going to leave her there through tomorrow and then let her out just before dark again so she can hopefully not be broody. But if she's broody, she'll be back in there again. And I'm going to put a little clip in here of Mr. Brown, so we'll go to that right here. Bedtime. Up. Oh, not over. Up. Good boy. Good boy. You're going to go to bed. In you go. Good boy. Night, night. We have to put you in there. People have been asking about you, and you're doing fine. So, good night. Turn off the light. See you tomorrow. Today, I called my daughter to try to find out what kind of of rooster Mr. Brown is because he really doesn't have all the characteristics that a lot of roosters have. He has no waddle on top or waddles on the bottom. He has no crown. He has no, what are those things on the legs? I forgot. Spurs. spurs. Yeah, I couldn't think for a minute. He has no spurs. He doesn't even have the nubs and even some of my hens have nubs, but he doesn't have that. He's got white legs with a gray kind of feet. He's got oblong ears, and they're red, so if he was a hen, he would have brown eggs. And his crown on his head has got like three little point pokey things, but it's really very, very short. It's like a, it's like an, uh, what they would, a pea kind of crown. It's a real small crown. So I was trying to feed, and he's white with some black feathers, and he doesn't have, he hasn't crowed yet. This is the month that he should crow if he's going to crow, and this is the month if he's going to lay an egg, he should lay an egg. So we'll have to wait and see. He's really very, very friendly, and he is learning. As you saw, he learned how to get up on my, on my arm. He does like to step over sometimes, but when I tell him up a few more times, he will get up. And when it's snack time, he always gets up on my arm because he knows that's the only way he's going to get his snack is he have to go up. So you treat him, I guess you train him first with food, and then gradually they do it just because they know they have to do it. Today is December 1st, so it's time to do the finances again. I forgot to do this yesterday because November was the end of the month and usually I like to say what my month was like on for November. And November was actually a very good month. I didn't have any insurances and I didn't have any taxes. I um, bought a few things for Christmas. Let's see, did we put them in there? Yes, we did. Should be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Let's see. Should be TV. TV. Yeah, they're in there. They're in there. Yep, yep. And Jessica's gift is in there. We don't want to say what that is because she <laughs> might watch this. Jessica, we already gave the TV to Emily because it was kind of like an on a birthday present and Christmas present all rolled in one. She is getting one more thing in that we bought also, but it's a lot smaller. But it was. It's well. It's something she needs, and she needs it so that Jim doesn't have to constantly carry his stuff back and forth. Guess what you're getting, Emily? I'm not telling you. Well, anyways, the month was really good. We had a real good month for November. My goal is to try to stay within my 
Social Security because we're still pretending that we're living on the lower end of the pay thing. Like when, when Jim and I first got married, we would we would live on the lowest income. And at the time, it was always his income that was lower. Well, now mine is the low one. And we try to lay, stay within that. The only time we can't stay within that is when we have taxes, insurance, insurance registrations. registrations. Those things always throw us out of that. So that's where you make sure you save. So whenever and when we want to buy a vehicle, you make pretend car payments all the while that you own the vehicle. And this way, when it comes time to buy it, you don't have to have car payments, real car payments, because you've been paying yourself the car payments and you put them in the bank and you and don't touch it. That's the thing. A lot of people will think, well, I need that money and it's not going to I'm not getting a car for another 10 years or five years or whatever it is that they I I keep mine 10 to 15 or 20 years. I keep mine a long time. And this one will be a very long time because it's not driven. But they borrow the money that they're supposed to be saving and they should not do that. Well, uh, that is, we got snow today. So it's a good thing we took the ride Sunday, Sunday. because say, Monday it rained terrible and today we got snow, but it's not enough to say so. It's just enough to be a nuisance. And um, it's wet, very heavy, wet snow. And it's the ground is real soft and gushy because it was raining the day before, so and the ground has not frozen. It's still about 34 degrees outside, so it's, it's cold but not bitter. And the wind, I don't remember if there was much of a wind. There was a little bit of a wind. So those of you that have snow, I'm sorry you have snow. But we have snow too. So if that makes you feel any better, we all are in the same boat. Except the people that never get snow are getting snow. And those of us that should have had snow a long time ago took a long time to get snow. And that's, I, I always would wish, I was going to say that's the end, but mm -hmm. it's not quite. <laughs> not quite. Um, I used to always say I wish that I had the southern climate up here and they could have ours if they wish. I don't care. You can have the snow. You can have the rain. You can have the cold. I want the warm and the sunshine. And maybe it's working that way. I don't know. But anyways, now it's mm. the end. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.